Welcome back to the channel and before we get started there's been a bit of a disaster. I was setting up and I was putting the tripod onto the camera and the connector thing has snapped off. So I've got to glue that. Back in a bit. Right now that's repaired let's try it again. Okay this is a project sent to me by a guy called Nick and he's looking for help with a project of his to do with RFID and in here are various things he's been working on. He does have a GitHub and I'll put a link for that below now. On that GitHub you'll find what he's doing with his RFID stuff and we'll open up and see what he's sent. And the idea is to use some of these parts, try and do something with them today and then I'll probably find out what he's doing and be able to work on the project better with him. So let's have a look. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, there's plenty of stuff going on. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be helping him, but thanks, Nick, for all this stuff. Okay. I'll lay these out and I'll come back. Okay, well, he did say that he does sell some of these items, and um, I believe that's why they're all labelled up, but everything is really nicely written about. A very nice message there as well from him. But yes, we've, uh, we've got individually labelled items like the inductor and the MPN transistor and we've got the PCB trace antenna. Here we have a, a detector. There's the coil within the detector. Marvellous stuff, as you know I really like to work on wireless electricity. 13.56 megahertz is the area of interest and that's for RFID and some cell phone things and what have you. So, well, Hello cat. <laughs> so, next thing to do is to put something together that might show something working. Um, his preferred power source is a 3 volt CR2032. So that's what we'll be using for any experiments. Here we have a bunch of resistors with their individual ratings on them as well. Okay, let's see what we can do initially with these parts. Alright, this is Nick's repository on GitHub. He goes by the name of Hamspiced and it's the NFC Resonant Frequency Amplifier. And do bear in mind, all of this is being done for free. All the files are out there for you to use yourself. And in fact, he does sell some of his stuff on Tindy, so you could help him out that way and also explore some of this for yourselves. It's the project repository for the Resonant Repeater project. So at the moment he's on version 2.1 and the goal, I'll read it, create a low cost adaptable device that can amplify 13.56 MHz frequencies for low power devices, implants, etc. Initial idea is to take already made tuned NFC chips from key fobs, harvest the antenna from them, find out the resonant capacitance, introduce a capacitor and tune as needed. So here's his first proof of concept. It's a simple enough coil there with a capacitor on it and it should resonate at 13.56 tuned it and it did indeed, it was successful. Next along was some pretty good looking little PCBs that he got made by I think it was JLC PCB and they came back looking pretty good which he, he then added an antenna to from a working NFC fob and they weren't tuned properly. So by adding a 22PF capacitor he was able to get it to resonate and that's part of these things is to get the capacitance exactly right. Moving along, uh, he ended up ordering some printed antennas, PCB integrated antennas, which I believe I've got in the other room there. They look quite fascinating. It's going to be interesting to try and use those. And along we go, and he's furthering and researching and tuning everything up. So this is all really fascinating stuff with the flex prototypes that are being made, and all these calculations that he's done. And he's able to create an additional test board zeroing in around the 0.0712 radius, which seems to be where he's at now. As I say, absolutely fascinating GitHub that really does, I think, will help to further wireless electricity experiments and products 
you know, stuff out there beyond, uh, well, you know, charging a cell phone or a toothbrush. Okay, so my barrier to this is I don't know a great deal about NFC and RFID, which could be comforting to some people. But while I do understand things like a key fob for the car, I can hold it next to the start button and it'll work in case the battery inside goes flat, I understand that. And also perhaps things like debit and credit cards where you can tap to pay and uh, it uses a little chip on board. What I don't understand is a lot of the other, so I'm learning with you. Right, so the CR232 is a given, definitely use that. I think these... We've also we've got repeaters and we've got, I believe, they're already on them, the little SMD capacitors. Oh, here's Indy. This cat turned up, he's a, a stray or something. Little kitten, uh, he turned up on July the 4th, Independence Day, hence Indy. Anyway, back to this. So, I've got one of these uh, PCB trace antennas, I'm thinking... Obviously it's got to include the 13.56 oscillator. I'll come back in a minute when I've got a better idea of what's going to happen first. Also, remove this cat. So what I've got here is a development circuit using the 13.56 MHz oscillator. But it's, uh, it's in the works, it's not finished yet. So I thought I'd show something else simple. This is a very, very old Slayer Exciter, about 10 years old now. It is currently running. And what I've got... Is one of Nick's coils, one of his receiver coils. I've put a diode face in one way and a diode face in the other way, and then an LED on the top. If I pick this up and put it near to the tower, there we are. The LED comes on. So just a little demonstration really of showing one of these running. In fact, a bit of a dead point there. But but there we are. So that's the first test of something. And um very good luck indeed, Nick, with this. I hope that other people can help out. You can create some circuits, get stuff running at 13.56 megahertz. All right, thanks very much for watching.